uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, actually. And uh, this is going to be a, a little bit different from the previous video I did, which was just kind of like a first load of the demo, with not keeping anything, just doing everything there is to do. Um, for this one, I'm just going to like skip all the cutscenes, so if you want to see cutscenes, um, go see the other video or just play the demo. I'm here to talk, um, compare this game uh, with Ninja Gaiden and maybe other action games because I think that's what it closely relates to. You know, a guy with a sword, ninja, I think that's Ninja Gaiden territory. And since I've been incredibly disappointed with um, Ninja Gaiden 3, even like with Ninja Gaiden 2 Sigma, um, I felt like they didn't live up to their pedigree and to the standards it set. I'm gonna. I'm like. I'm mostly interested in this game in particular as a replacement for Ninja Gaiden, as a um, high skill action uh, hack and slash. So we're gonna go play in this. Um, there's a couple things I picked up on in my first playthrough of this, like some things I liked, some things I didn't like. Um, and we're gonna talk about that. Like most of them have to do with the combat, and then uh, there's some certain issues like how things Linus, look and feel. You landed safely, duh? First, head inland. I'm just gonna skip everything once again. If you want to see the videos, um, Contact us on just Kodak play the demo yourself. Um, because the videos, this is a Metal Gear game after all, and uh, you know, it's uh, there's a maybe gameplay here for maybe 10-15 minutes, and because of the cutscene, it's like half an hour. Um, so that's why I skipped those. Alright, so we start off here. Um, this is probably a first mission of the game. I feel like it is a first mission of the game. Um, hold on, I gotta pause for a second. Yeah, okay. So, hatch station settings are on, with recording. Um, so the biggest gimmick of this game, I guess, is the sword mode, which allows you to pull left trigger and then just randomly hack and flash at stuff. And you can sort of aim, and you use your right stick for this. Now, I'm not a big fan of this, like, I like the idea that you can cut through stuff any way you want to, but tying it down to the right stick feels a bit weird, like it never worked for two human. Um, I do like the animation that if you keep rolling your right stick, he does this. That's pretty cool. That's really amazing animation actually right there. Um, and I'm just rolling f the right stick from uh, uh, counterclockwise. So that's one sm single smooth motion and it looks pretty good. But yeah, you s from the way it works is that you do the left stick from left side and then release it, so if I pull it to the left and then release it, he flashes left. If I pull it to the right, and then same with top, and then if you pull it down and then release, he'll do the uppercut flash. So that works in theory, but as you can see, I may be running, and then if I press the left trigger, he stops dead in track. And then left stick suddenly controls the camera, um, and it looks really weird because he's kind of spinning, like, he's not even like moving his feet just kind of spinning in place. So that's pretty much mechanics. I'm not, like, I am not a big fan of this. I feel like it breaks down the control, the uh, the flow of combat, which is why it's really smooth, like you can do all these crazy combos. And then in the middle of it, you just stop to do the uh, sword motion. And the thing is, um, there's a lot of game mechanics tied to the uh, sword mode. Oops, I just killed my stairwell. Um, how am I supposed to get there now? Interesting. I never tried doing this before. Alright, perfect. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, there's a lot of mechanics in-game tied to sword mode. And uh, especially the ones related to getting health and experience and bonus points. So, uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of the way it's implemented. Oops. Okay, now I'm definitely not getting back up there. I think I just made my life much harder. Or at least Raiden's life much harder. Yeah, Ninja Run. Alright. Alright, so there's gonna be three ninjas, so we're gonna sh 
try to fight them and I'm gonna try to do what they tell me which is to hit their critical point and extract their uh, spinal fluid to heal myself and maybe get some points. And I also, while doing all of that, I am supposed to uh, parry because there's no real block in this game. So you're just gonna have to do left stick plus X. And uh, hmm, that didn't work. So they're just throwing grenades. I wish I knew which ones are grenade thrower guys, but it looks like they all. Okay, now it's fucking around. Time to kick ass. So if I cut through the X, I might extract their point, fluid, like that. Go into the casting, and I think I cut off his left arm, but I had no idea how I did that because. Um, I will designate a battle area for you. Stay within fuck, the area to avoid collateral damage. See, it glows red whenever he had, when he's about to attack. And you're supposed to parry and then just go for it. And then I'm gonna cut off his point again. That's pretty much the combat. And I was supposed to cut off his left arm. Skip. And that was C, like that was bad apparently because I got hit. Do, 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 do. Can I skip the phone call? No. See, that's the f double like that. Raiden, Stupid this is Boris. Boris and his Give me your status. stereotypical Russian Let's accent clear. and his stereotypical no appearance and name and Good. Let's everything. Recap the route you will take. As I oh said, my god. This being the Metal Gear game, no this is kind of like to be expected. You know, long phone calls, a lot of exposition that some people may care about since this is a canon. So Metal Gear game, and it takes place right after Metal Gear 4. Then head down to um, the rear of the refinery. Like it takes place like Still, four years after Metal Gear 4. Um, they will probably have a grand reception so, you at the old city. this is something a lot Do of Metal Gear fans will be looking down. at. This is not just an action game. This is a canon Metal Gear game. Alright, so there's this uh, gimmick called Ninja Run, uh, attached to your right stick. And which pretty much does all the platforming for you, which I'm thankful for, because you don't even have a without it, you don't even have a, a double jump like this. I'm pressing A, he just kind of jumps up, single. But if I do right stick and then A, he does like the long jump, like yeah, that was pretty good. So um, I really wish your know, ninja run was kind of on all the time because that's really how a ninja should behave. Not like, not this. This is like this is crap. But like this is pretty awesome. And lightning and shit. In the lower corridor, I see. Um, Try to flank them or approach from behind. So yeah, my issues with combat is a little bit uh, random. Like you can see that guy, he was either throwing grenades and it would glow red, and or he would just go for a sword strike and it would still glow red. And like I feel like it's a noobish indicator kind of. You know, oh man, he's gonna like that attack is coming, but you don't know what kind of attack is coming. And the fact that it tells you when he's about to attack you, um, that's also you know, good, yes, good. you know, in, in Ninja Gaiden they would not tell you when they're about to attack. You just had to like watch the animation. But here there's like oh blink, time for you to parry. <laughs> oh yeah, parrying. So parrying, not a big fan of. You can only do it when you're about to get attacked and it's left stick plus X you cannot hold it um, if you hold it it's not gonna do anything like they took a page from Ninja Gaiden again because in Ninja Gaiden when you press block and the exact timing and you would block an enemy attack uh, you would get a counter and you would get a counter attack here they just want you to parry there's no block at all Raiden, take that like you cannot block there. everything you, you, you have to parry, to which means you have located. to time it your body with the anime and attack, and this, is this, this Batman mode, uh, like throwback to uh, still in the city. Arkham that Asylum. So I see some enemies here, like obviously I think they're making it clear they don't want me to go down there. There's a hostage. Like the environments look okay, but a bit barren, like most of the action games of this well, in this genre, they, the environments always are barren and lifeless and nothing is going on except the enemies you have to kill and yourself. So, I uh, you know, I was hoping this game would change things up a bit, but it doesn't look like it. And I gotta take this guy out, uh, wait for the prompt, otherwise I'm gonna loot everyone and their mother. 
and then apparently you can pick up grenades. Pick and then equip it using this. And then you can throw them. Wow, okay. That 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 failed. Okay, that guy with a rocket launcher is gonna like come at me. Cut off his arm. Oh no! I just killed him. Oops. And I hate this. Them just kind of melting in the background. Like honestly, this is 2013. Enemies should not be melting into the uh, foreground. Where did the bad guys go? Oh okay. But like that's a minor nitpick. I mean, sure it would be nice if the body stayed, but maybe that would like put some strain on the uh, game engine. And while in ninja mode, he blocks bullets. So that's kind of cool. And see, in sword mode, the camera is unpredictable. I don't have no idea when it's gonna go. Give me your spine. Ah, oh, fuck it. I cut off his right arm. I don't know if it did anything. See, it's a little bit random, because, you know, you're doing this crazy shit, and then you have no control when you press left trigger where the camera's gonna look. Like, you know, I was facing the other way, and then suddenly it turned the other way. Like, because your left stick is motion, and then at the second you press the left trigger, it becomes camera control. So it's a little bit confusing, especially when you're fighting and, like, and some heavy, heavy fighting. You're gonna get confusing. And they're probably gonna get you killed. More often than not. Hmm. Oh, here comes Metal Gear. Yeah, alright. These guys are a little bit different. I'm guessing. And there is dodge, I think. No, that's not dodge. I'm guessing... Oh, the grenade stunned the thing. That's pretty funny. Uh, there, I think when ninja run, there's some sort of uppercut that you can do. Here. Like, I didn't feel like I was in control of that situation. I knew what I had to do. I'm gonna try to parry. Like, I'm doing all these combos and I have no idea how I'm doing them. Mainly because there's no moves list in, in the demo. Okay, I'm gonna parry again. Oh, okay, he's throwing it. See, how am I supposed to know where to parry or where to dodge? That's just a dick move. And apparently, if you cut out their spine, they just kind of fall on the ground. You know, you don't have to, like, literally press B. Because they're just gonna, like, they're gonna pop out and just lie waiting for you to pick up. So I'm not sure what the benefit is of actually ripping them out using the quick time event prompt as opposed to just, you know, doing your thing and waiting for... yeah, waiting until the end of the fight to pick it up. I'm guessing you are invulnerable when you're ripping out their spines. So maybe that's the uh, benefit of uh, using the quick time thingy. I can apparently call... I can call people. Oh fuck it. No shut up. Holy shit. Oh, why did I do this? No, 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 no. I'm just spamming B here. Holy shit, you have a lot to say. Shut up. I'm in the middle of battle. Okay. Sorry about that. I did not expect that. That was a new feature. Apparently that gives me their health because I stab them in the spine. 
nice Ninja Gaiden throwback with him brushing up the blood. Not even the blood stays. Like, that's what's angering me. Oh shit, I got hit by a rock launcher. Oh shit. And by a uh, Metal Gear. Oh, this is not going well. Need some spines? I think they heal you 100%. I feel like I need to uh, get some space. And there's a rocket launcher piece that I'm not a fan of. Get it wrong, get it wrong. Stop doing the combos. I wonder if there's a way to cancel your combos when you're in the middle of them. Is. Missed, bitch. Where is this guy? Oh, you ran away, bitch. Oh, shit. Yeah, so apparently a ninja round plus Y gives you this nice sliding uh, thing. Oh shit, Mary, you're, you're pissing me off. Oh man, that camera did not work well for me. I was hoping to be facing up. Shit, why am I facing away from it when I was just facing into it? Now we're gonna need your spine. Oh, you're missing it with your whip. So I'm just gonna like... Alright, now... Fuck, see? That's what I'm saying. I was facing its leg, then I pressed the left stick and suddenly I'm facing away from the leg. Again, same thing. Like, what the fuck is going on here? And I'm supposed to like, cut this. And I'm gonna cut your foot off. Ugh. That was so fucking frustrating. Holy shit. Mm. Unnecessary frustrating. I could have done way better if fucking sword mode was actually cooperative. But like you saw, I was facing, I was hacking away at the leg. I turned the sword mode and then suddenly now I'm facing ground bottom only because when you switch into sword mode your left stick suddenly controls the camera as opposed Greetings, to not doing anything cyborg. like fuck Show I wonder if that's fixed if you're lock on a target but when you're facing multiple targets locking on is usually not a great idea I skip this All right. so in this boss battle they want me to parry and then hack at him so that should be easy enough. So he's gonna do the attack. I'm gonna parry and then hack at him. I'm gonna parry again. Oh no, missed. He's gonna attack now. He's gonna attack now. And attack. I'm kinda going for what I think are fast attacks. Oh shit, he hit me there. Oh, shit. Oh, I think he got me here. Usually he does three jumps and then he jumps on you. In this case, he just went straight for it after the second one. And yeah, you can do that if you're still incompetent. Which is A, Y, and then directional button. Give me the cutscene, you asshole. Alright. Alright, there's gonna be some humans showing up. Or, should I say cyborgs, I guess. Fine, bro, for health purposes. Oh shit, too far. No, I can't even see this pine. Like, how do these pines stay? Oh shit, how do these pines stay intact after you uh, cut them out? Like, you split the guy clearly in half, and then somehow his pine. Shit, 
should have parried that shit. Alright, so now the robot comes. Demonstrate the extent of your Like you cannot hold parry for it to become blocked. You have to parry at the exact time of attack. Shit. I was in the middle of animation there. Oh, two, and here it comes. Shit. Holy fuck. It did like five of them there. Fuck off, bro. And here it comes. Uh, he has to go into one more animation and summon some Metal Gear. Okay. These guys are pretty straightforward, you just have to avoid their kicks. They don't really use the ranged weapon much. In fact, I'm not even sure why they don't use their guns and rocket launchers. But kind of cool that it keeps targeting you. And what you do here is just hack and slash and try to get in the middle. And you ripped out this pine and really... That was like, that was cool. But I wasn't at Here it comes. Nice parry. Die, bitch. Like, he actually takes very little damage from all of this. Like, Holy shit, like, like less than a third of a percent. What do they want me to do? Caught him up. Hmm, usually there's a cutscene. Because you, you were ripping him up. Weird. Um, yes, yeah, so normally what would happen, you would get like a quick time and when, prompt when he's down to like 5% health and then you can do the whole like cutting them up part. Anyways, what you just saw was just me trying. This is my like maybe third time playing the demo. So I'm getting a little bit better at the combat. I'm trying to figure it out but it's still really 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 weird in the way it works. Um, like th I'm really not a fan of tying the sword mode camera control to motion stick. Like it could be anything else like right stick, even though, well, right stick, yeah. Hopefully you can change that up, but in the demo options, if I can just look at it now, the uh, controls do not change at all. Like, you cannot do, you cannot change what left stick or right stick does. Or maybe you can't see, free blade mode, left stick, camera control, right stick. Hmm, I may have to try this at some point. And blade mode is left stick. Okay, I'm gonna keep it like this and I'll try it. And then see what happens. Oh shit, why did you? Yeah, we're just gonna play tutorial and see if it's better. <sighs> Dryden, it's oh, shit, shut up. You hear me alright? Hmm. Then let's begin. Um, doctor custom designed this VR yeah, yeah, yeah. to test all your new abilities. I wish they, this part was a bit longer and they actually gave you the moves of this because I'm doing yes? some combos that were you really useful. So, but I was not aware of them until I pulled them off by button mashing. Left trigger and then left stick to cut them off. And then right stick to look around. I think I can, uh, that's definitely the way it should be. Yeah, I think I can, I can, I can. This is blade mode. Have the idea? You will find a number of targets in the VR space. Cut them down in whatever way I think way I can like. definitely look, work with this. So, then take a little bit getting used to it. Some of those targets are holding hostages. Use now play mode to take them out safely. But 
not okay why is the camera at this angle how oh, should i just kill that cottage yeah can i get a little getting used to not 100 percent sold on it like see the way the camera kind of centers so i'm like i'm not controlling the right stick now the way the camera is angled like what the fuck load into the mission and maybe kill those Enough first few guys. See what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raiden, you landed safely, duh? First head I landed in. safely, duh? That pisses Don't me off like more than anything is like terrible point. Russian accent. And he's like the most certificate Russian in the world. Boris. From Russia. Ugh. Fuck. No. Can't skip this. The are no, no shit. Nice if they were trying they to ambush me, they'd tab me while invisible. Like eh? Alright, so let's go into sword. Oh, he's too far away. I cut off his leg. And I can get this pine actually. Not bad. The camera is still a little bit unpredictable. Uh, I'm not sure if I got the last pine. Nope, see, it kind of just hangs it here. Um, do I get it? Uh, huh. Okay. Give me my spine, the game. Well, there you have it. There's definitely control options. Um, me stick with, I think this is type B options. Yeah, this is type B with left stick not controlling the camera while in blade mode and just not touch the right stick at all. Um, definitely gonna buy this game though because I need my Ninja Gaiden fix, I need my twitchy action, you know, I need a game where every every single enemy can kick my ass. Raiden, and I don't think Ninja Gaiden 3 delivered that, like everyone was scrubbed until we get to the boss. Um, but yeah, this game is not perfect. But I think it's pretty close to where Ninja Gaiden 2 was on 360 without any patches. Combat does feel nice, like the animation is nice. I really wish I had a moves list, because right now I'm just kind of guessing if I'm just spamming Y. This is a really long animation. And then if I'm pressing Y, Y, X, 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 you know what's gonna happen there. I'm not sure. All I know is the if you go jump, Y, and then directional movement, it's gonna give you a nice forward slash, and that, that apparently that stuns the enemies. So it's like A, Y, and then left stick forward, or like Y, and then. Oh, it only goes forward though. The coastline is hey. too long and heavily guarded. And there's a lot of invisible walls, as you can see. So yeah, that was. Uh, thank you for watching. I know this was a bit long. I was just trying, figuring out and mumbling. Um, hopefully this uh, helped someone to figure out how to do some game things in the game. I'm still, you know, not a pro, um, but I'm definitely gonna pick this up and then do a proper playthrough. And hopefully there is a moves list in this game. But. Seeing that this is the uh, first mission and the tutorial, we play through the tutorial, there's no moves other than parry. Um, so that's a bit disappointing. Even though there are clearly combos in this game, clearly combos, and I'm not sure what happens when you do AX, and then you know, they never told you that if you do ninja run and then you press X or Y, no, you, when you do ninja run and then press Y, it does the slide into stun. Which is really useful. Then, and so yeah, thank you for watching, um, and I will see you soon. I'll be definitely be playing this very soon, full game, on 360. Good night.